licensed physical therapist and certified Pilates instructor, and I'm here today to talk to you about kneeling after a knee replacement. Can you? We'll see. And I'm gonna show you some ways to kneel comfortably at the end. So if you're in an exercise class, you wanna do what everybody else is doing, you can do it. Um, well, if you had a knee replacement, you're hoping to get rid of the pain, and then you can't kneel. What? That's why you had the surgery, right? To be able to do what you wanna do. Well, 60 to 80% of the people after they've had a knee replacement complain of having pain when they're kneeling. The inability to kneel is a problem because we kneel a lot for activities of daily living, sports things that we want to do, leisure things, self-care, religious activities. You need to be able to kneel. One of the biggest ones is be able to get up off the floor if you fall. So kneeling, huge thing you need to know how to do after you've had the knee replacement. And once you've been in rehab, you should know how to do that when you get out. Knee replacements are meant to restore the function of the knee, to have normal kinematics, meaning full range of motion, flexion, extension. So it goes from straight to bent, as much as you can get. That's the whole point of having the knee replacement, right? They don't know which knee replacements at this point, they've done a lot of research on this, which brands, uh, I mean, of knee replacements are better than others as far as post-op kneeling and comfort levels. So they're still researching that. 74.7% .7 of people though are happy with their knee replacements and can kneel. So that's um, a good thing. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to kneel. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, so they've done research, a lot of research on this. And there's four things that they found that people that can't kneel you know, comfortably, why? One, they complain of pain, <laughs> okay? Two, they have body mass indexes that are really high, so you're overweight, okay? Overweight can cause more pain in the knee because there's more pressure from your body weight on the knee when you're kneeling. Um, also, the strength. So getting up and down off of the floor, if you couldn't do that, you're gonna be more uncomfortable kneeling because you don't have strength in the knee. And then fear of damaging the component or the prosthesis. That's not gonna happen. That big old metal component that's in there and, and all that, it's in there, it's strong, it's hard. You're not gonna damage it by kneeling. If you fell on it close to your post-op surgery date, then maybe, but not just kneeling on it comfortably. They've also done more research on seeing whether or not the pain is actually coming from the tissues and the component around the knee, that the, the structures, or whether it was really all in your head. <laughs> so it sounds kind of like callous to think that, but we have preconceived notions after we've had a surgery on, and, and fears about what might happen if we do a certain activity, like, oh, I had my knee replaced. I don't know if I should kneel on that. You know, and that just gets in our head and then it, it makes us have pain. There is a mind-body connection. I've talked about that several times on this channel. So we want, you, you know, the reasons that we want to get um, you be able to kneel is because of all the activities, but you need to have full range of motion of that knee. So studies at Johns Hopkins recently show that the better the knee flexion that you had, the more range of motion you had in that knee for flexion, the more comfortable your kneeling was gonna be. I wanna say, duh, we know you need to have flexion in the knee, 90 degrees at least, to be able to kneel comfortably and not be stressing on tissues um, that have been operated on. So there's no, I'm gonna say this with all caps, there are no biomechanical or clinical reasons that contraindicate you kneeling on the knee, meaning you can kneel on the knee. There's no research that says you shouldn't be able to, and in fact, many people that do have knee replacements go on to kneel, have no problems. So what are things that you wanna kind of be aware of and make sure that you're doing since you do have good success with this? One is to make sure you get your therapist to make sure you have good knee flexion before you leave, okay? You also wanna be practicing that getting up and down off the floor. That's a big one. You need to be able to get up without holding on to something and if you have to kneel to do that, you know, you, know, you gotta be able to kneel. Um, you also want to have good strength in the knee so you can get up and down um, off the floor properly, lifting your body weight against gravity. I see a lot of times, you know, therapists, you know, kind of, holding back, it's an elderly person, they don't think they can use weights or do a hard body movement, not true, you can strengthen until you're old, 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 and you're gonna get strengthening. So you want to make sure you get the strongest you know, muscles that you can have to support your body to get up from the floor. 
And another thing that I'm a big advocate of is tissue work. So if you have pain in this area, a lot of times it's from tissue in the area. The fascia tightens up after a surgery. The scar tissue can become bound down and during in, after a surgery and then during movement can cause pain. So getting some deep tissue work done, whether it's by massage therapist or, or therapist, um, and getting that myofascial release in there, even doing some massage daily yourself to desensitize that knee so it's not as sensitive when you kneel on it can really help. So let me show you just a couple things that you can do in a class. If you told me, I on knee replacement, I don't think I can do the cat movement, or I don't think I can get on my knees to kneel, I would show you to do this in class and you'd be able to do it. So a couple things that I use, one is the bounce pad, which is by Eric's. Um, there's a lot of other brands out there now um, that you can do, but this is a nice squishy um, pad that's about three inches thick and you kneel on it um, during your class or during the movement. I'll show you how, um, but we also use it for balance activities, whether it's for your ankle or foot or after a head injury or to get your balance back. Okay. And then the other thing is called the posture brick. This is from OPTP. This is um, my design actually. Um, and it's a high density foam. It's got a little bit of give to it. So it's not rock hard and you could do, use it for multiple purposes in your classes. If you were going to like drag one of these to your exercise class, it's lightweight and you can use it for kneeling. You can use it to sit on. So put your push on here if you have night or shortened hamstrings and sitting long leg is going to be more comfortable for you so it won't bother your back you, if you have a forward head or a little bit of rounding in your upper shoulders you can put this under your head to kind of balance that head and torso alignment out so this has a little bit more uses this is a little bit too thick for that this is a two inch it, it does come in three inch but two inch is going to be what you're going to want most of the time if you're in a class all right so let me show you how to use this um, what we're going to do is basically disperse the load okay so we're not going to be kneeling right on the kneecap itself we're going to be putting most of our pressure on the shins. All right, so you're going to bring that pad back towards the back edge of your mat so you have room for your hands. And then you're going to place your knees on and you're going to put the shins mostly on and have your kneecaps, the very beginning of your knee, off the front edge of the pad. And then you can adjust so you can do your catch or you can do your alternating arm and leg reaches. And you're going to be feeling most of the pressure through the shin and not on the knee. You can also come up you know, into kneeling. Notice I need that 90 degrees of flexion to be able to kneel comfortably, even for me. So you can also kneel fully on it. So that push is enough sometimes to just soften what you feel in that kneecap when you're on the floor and it makes it comfortable. So if you're in your garden or if you're you know, cleaning out under a bed or something, you can you know use this for that. All right, and the same principle then goes, applies for, for the block is you're gonna place your shins on, knees are just going to be hanging off a little bit. Now it's not a lot. Okay. So I'm like about maybe an inch and a half, two inches off. And then I can kneel here, putting again, most of my pressure on my shin. I can come into this position comfortably. Um, and it's, it's just a nice modification to be able to kneel without having pain. You shouldn't be crying when you're exercising. Okay. So I hope you found that helpful. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments box below. If you have any ideas for videos, please, Again, put them in the comments box. I'd love to do them for you and hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out and share it with your friends. If you know somebody that's had knee replacement and has a lot of pain, we don't want them to have pain. So nice to talk to you today and teach you about the knee. If you have any more questions, again, come see me at a class. Come see me privately. I'm all over the place. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.